What's up guys, this is Steve for Android Knight, and today I'm going to run you through my top 20 widgets. Now you don't have to have a custom launcher to use these, but the one I'm going to be using in this video is Nova Launcher, and if you want to download that, there'll be a link in the description. If you want to see more of these videos, please remember to give this video a like and share with your friends, and enjoy! So I'm going to start off this list with some of my favourite analog clocks, and these are the ones that come with icon packs. So the first one here is the Aurora UI clock, and I've got it set with the icon pack as well, just so you get sort of the full feel. I really like this one, it's kind of minimal but it's got the red in the middle, adds sort of slightly more to it than some of the other ones in the list. Next up we've got the Crichton clock, this is one of my favourite icon packs still. I've just done my third icon pack video so I've done 30 icon packs but Crichton is still probably in my top 5. I think the clock is really nice as well, it's really minimal, there is a transparency on it as you can see there. I think it's a really nice flat minimalistic clock. Next up we've got Gel which I quite like because it looks kind of cartoony because the middle bit is so big but again it's got a nice little transparency on it and this one obviously gives you the minimalist look with just the white hands. Next up we've got the Flazing Clock, this is definitely one of my favourites especially with the Icon Pack. It's got that really nice effect that looks somewhat metallic but also kind of woody and matte but also minimalist at the same time. Next up we've got Riffon and this takes that cool effect from I think it was maybe a Nexus 5 wallpaper or a Nexus 4 wallpaper but it looks really cool again really really minimalist although this one doesn't have the transparency. Next up we've got Velour which is another one of my favourite icon packs and sounds kind of camp when you say it but this one really nice matte effect with the blue as well matches the circles on the icons and again like the previous one this hasn't got any transparency but this is one of my favourites again. Next up we've got Zade this really matches the icon pack it's kind of cartoony nice and bright and as you can probably tell there's no transparency on it. First up we've got Digical now I normally use this calendar here which is the event flow calendar widget which I'll get to in just a second but this one I was searching around for widgets to do this video and I've discovered I actually really really like it and there's a couple of reasons firstly it comes with its own calendar app which I think is really cool it has all the stuff that the Eventflow one has so for example you've got the weather here you get a nice list of all your events much like the Eventflow widget this is really really customizable so you've got a bunch of different views you've got the list agenda which is the one I'm using you've got a day view, a day list, a day grid and a month and month calendar. The bottom two are only available if you get the plus version. On top of the different settings you can then apply a bunch of different themes. So you've got the light one, the dark one, and then again you've got some pro ones here. You've got the alpha one, alpha dark, the bluey one, cotton candy which looks kind of cool. It's got a sort of matte material feel to it. Passion red, purple melody, and then a pink sunrise one. Also if you get the plus version you can display different calendars which is pretty cool. So then next we've got Calendar Flow, which is the one I've been using a lot, you've probably seen it in a few of my videos. This is very, very similar, I think it looks slightly more minimalist. It doesn't come with its own calendar, but you can set it to either open to the normal Google Calendar, or if you have DigiCal or any other calendar installed, you can choose that as the default click. You can see there's a bunch of different themes. Again, some of these you need to upgrade to unlock, um, much like DigiCal Plus. That was the Agenda View, you've also got a Calendar View. Both of these widgets are really nice, but I think the Eventflow one for me, I slightly prefer because it does look a little bit more minimalist, but both are really, really customizable so you can play around with them sort of till your hearts are content. On the next page here, at the top we've just got a Spotify widget, and this is obviously pretty standard, but it is one of the ones I do use the most. Next up we have the Google News and Weather widgets. These are kind of standard, but if you want that sort of Google Now cards look, these are really nice and a really easy way to achieve it. You've got the option to have either just the weather strip up here in the 1x4 widget, or both, or then you can have the bigger one with weather at the top and news at the bottom, which I quite like. Next up we've got the Talon widget. Talon is my favourite Twitter client at the moment, and the widget I really, really like because it's just big, it's bold, it's really kind of minimalist. You've got the options here to refresh or hit to compose a new tweet. I love the fact it comes up in the pop-up, it all looks really, really nice. And if you're using this widget, you almost don't need to go into your Talon app at all. Next up we've got Battery Widget Reborn, and this is one of the best battery apps on the Play Store in my opinion. It's got a really nice option to have your power and your notification bar, which you guys have probably seen in some of my more recent videos. But it also has some pretty cool widgets. So you've got this, which kind of just looks like the graph taken from the battery settings, plays straight on your home screen. And if you are obsessed with keeping a battery, um, topping it up or sort of just tracing what's using it and adjusting it and tweaking it. This is a really nice way of having all that information straight there. You've also got the widget here which is slightly harder to see which is just a nice little circle battery a circle battery indicator which you can customise. So you can change the text inside so one of the cool ones you can do is make it so it says time when completed. You can also edit things like the colour of the ring, the size of the ring, stuff like that. 
It's also really cool that when you plug your charger in, if you've got this installed, it will tell you how long until your device is fully charged. And it seems to be pretty accurate both on my Nexus 5 and on my Nexus 7. Next up we have Clock Now, and if you like having that Google Now style on your homepage, this is another great one. It's really customizable, there's two versions. There's a 1x4 clock, which I've got on this page, which lets you have um, two toggles there. And then there's also a toggle option, and on this toggle option I've also got the darker theme. There's a couple of other themes, there's a transparent one and sort of a slightly lighter one that isn't quite as dark as this, but isn't quite white. And it's a really nice way to get a bit of a Google Now feel on your home screen. And below this, we've got two examples of the Ultimate Customizable Clock Widget, or UCCW. This is one of the ones that I can't really do full justice in a video like this, because I am just quickly touching on them. But you can see here, this is two examples of themes for the widget. So this one looks kind of like Sense, and this one is a really cool one, it's called Animus. So you can see there's all these different sizes to choose from. We're going to go for 4x1, just so it fits. And then here are the skins that I have installed. But the thing is, you can then go to the Play Store, and install a bunch of other skins and themes for this. So it's pretty much unlimited what you can do with it. There's loads of really good forums online um, and Google Plus pages if you want to get inspiration on making your own or if you just want to find some really nice ones. So Ultimate Customizable Clock Widget is a really, really good one if you do want just that, a really, really customizable clock. Next up we have Dash Clock, and about a year ago, sort of the whole of Android was obsessed with this. All the theming communities, all the home screen communities, um, everyone was using this. In essence, this is a clock, but then you've got a bunch of different plugins that you can install from the Play Store, which show you below. So I've got everything from um, Next Alarm, Weather, um, Calendar, Time for Charging, stuff like that. And that's actually the plugin from the battery widget I showed you guys earlier. So if you go into the app, you can see you have an option to manage your extensions, and you can add more extensions from the Play Store. You can also go into Appearance, and you can tweak just how the clock looks, all the different fonts and things. So, for example, we can keep it on that one. And if you go into the advanced menu you can change the opacity of the widget to change it up um, depending on what sort of home screen you're using. This is really nice, it's not hugely customizable but it is really really useful which is, I think is why it was so popular and it also does have a really nice um, look that even sort of a year on I think looks pretty good with most Android phones. Next up we've got my new favourite widget, I think this is the one I've been using the most um, and the one that I'm sort of the most interested in at the moment. This is Zuper Widget Pro and this is kind of like UCCW in that it's really really customisable. This is every widget from clocks to weather to toggles, it's just fantastic what you can do with it, you can build entire home screens with it if you want to and again I can't go into detail in this video because it'll take ages. I'll probably do a video on my favourite Zuper Pro um, setups in another video. You basically download them from the Play Store or you install them from third parties um, and they look like these little packs. So I'm going to go into the creative pack and then it gives you a nice preview of all the different widgets you've got. So you can see there's a lot of them. This is just from one of the one of the packs I've downloaded but there's an absolute crap ton of them. Another app that goes really well um, with Zuper Widget Pro is where are we? this one which is a Zuper Widget Gallery and this just curates a bunch of different themes for Zuper, so it's a really nice way of actually finding um, the ones you want to use and they're really easy to apply as well. Next up we've got HD widgets and this is one of the ones that's been wildly, wildly popular in the Play Store for ages and this is just because it is so customizable. I've got it set to look, excuse me, like an HTC style clock which I quite like. I do miss the old, the old HTC. There's a bunch of different sizes to choose, we're going to go 4x2. And again, if this is one of the videos, um, or this is one of the things you'd like me to make a video on, just my favourite HD widget skins, or my UCCW skins, or um, Zoop or whatever, just comment below, um, and I will try and do that for you guys, but I just want to know whether actually people are going to watch it, or most of you will be really bored by it. But you can see here, you can scroll through and change literally every single aspect of the clock, from the font, to the background, to the different colours, to the start of the background, so you can have different segments and you can click through at the top and see even more styles for the widget. Then if you go to the top here you get a list of all your installed widget packs and again if you add more it takes you to the Play Store and you can download a load more but let's have a quick look through colour form so you can see more minimalist style clock but again you've got all the different customizable options. There's also loads of different toggle ones and weather widgets and stuff that go along with the HD widget packs. It's kind of like Zuper, it's pretty much unlimited. And then lastly at the bottom here, we've got one that's kind of a surprise to me. It's the Yahoo weather widget. And I don't really like Yahoo. I think most of what they've done um, in the past just kind of sucked. But I've started using their news app. It serves you up news stories in the morning and the evening, which is really, really cool. And the weather app is also really nice. And as is the widget, you do get the nice sort of photo in the background. And it's quite nice if you want to have just something sort of slightly more stylized on your home screen, but you don't want to mess around with actually setting it up. 
and also it's really, really useful. The app, I think, is one of the best weather apps. It tells you when the sun's going to rise, gives you the precipitation forecasts, nice little animation for the wind. I was using AV8 on my Nexus 7 for a while, and then I stopped using it but carried on using some of the Yahoo services, and this is one of the ones I carried on using. You can click through to your different locations so you can see what the weather's like, and they've got a different photo for each, which is pretty cool. I hope you like that, guys. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe if you haven't seen me before. Comment below if there's any other widgets that you think I've missed or if you've got any questions about the widgets that I showed in this video. This month my videos are sponsored by easyskins.com and there's a link to those guys in the description. To be eligible to win a skin once a month for the rest of the month, all you need to do is comment below on any of my videos. Please subscribe if you haven't seen me before, share this video with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.